rock cycle. You have probably seen many rocks in your lifetime. While there are different types of rocks, they all go through a process called the rock cycle, which we are learning more about today. But first, let's talk a little more about rocks. There are three main types of rocks, sedimentary, igneous, and metamorphic. Sedimentary rocks are formed from compacted sediment comprised of shells, pebbles, eroded rocks, or other materials. They are soft rocks, which sometimes appear in layers called strata, and can be turned back into sediment or pressurized into metamorphic rock. Sedimentary rocks are usually the only type of rock that contains fossils. Examples of sedimentary rock include limestone, shale, and sandstone. Igneous rocks form when liquid rock hardens. When the liquid rock is below ground, it is called magma. And when it hardens, it forms intrusive igneous rocks, like granite. When the liquid rock is above ground, it is called lava. When lava hardens, it forms extrusive igneous rocks, like pumice or basalt. These types of rocks do not contain fossils or organic matter. Metamorphic rocks are the least common type of rock. They are formed from igneous and sedimentary rocks that have been transformed by intense heat and pressure over millions of years. These rocks often have ribbon-like layers and crystals in them. Stone, like marble and quartz, are examples. Even though each rock type is different, they all go through a process called the rock cycle. Simply put, the rock cycle is the process by which one type of rock changes into another type of rock. This is a continuous process that can happen over the span of millions of years. As you will see, even though there are specific steps in the rock cycle, the order can and does change depending on the rock. Let's dig in to the steps of the rock cycle. One, magma cools and crystallizes beneath the Earth's crust, forming intrusive igneous rocks. Over time, the Earth's pressure causes uplift and the rocks end up on the Earth's surface. Two, molten magma flows to the surface of the Earth as lava through volcanic activity. It causes extrusive igneous rocks to form as the lava hardens and crystallizes. Three, weathering, erosion, and movement of rock on the Earth's surface carry sediments of rocks to low-lying places and bodies of water. Four, sedimentary rocks are formed as the sediments pile up and compaction and cementation take place. Five, after a long time period of pressure and heat, the igneous and sedimentary rocks buried in the Earth's crust change into metamorphic rocks. Six, some of the metamorphic rocks melt as they get close to molten magma. Some are uplifted to the Earth's surface, and if they melt, they get released again through volcanic activity. Remember that even though these steps are numbered, the cycle occurs simultaneously, with each step taking place at any time over thousands or millions of years. New rocks are always forming, and old ones are always changing. Thanks for learning with us today. Maybe one day you will become a scientist and learn and study even more about the rock cycle and our Earth. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.